who had English as their first language, achieved five or more GCSEs at C grade or above. Could you speak up? Sure. Um, however, of those 3,338 pupils who did not have English as their first language, only 52% of these achieved the same grades. I'm really excited to tell you tonight about a charity that is uh, very special uh, in Oxford, and the charity is called Chikari. Chikari has been working to solve the problem of educational inequality in Oxford for the last 50 years through our innovative home teaching scheme. And first of all, I'm going to start off by introducing you to Asma. Uh, this is Asma, and she arrived in Oxford when she was six years old um, with her family who were originally from Sudan. Um, and on her first day of school, she knew no English. And her teachers soon identified her as a student that would struggle in her education because of her lack of language skills and the lack of possibility of support from um, home. So she um, uh, is from a family of five uh, with a single mum supported by benefits and uh, they, the only language spoken at home is Arabic. And so she quickly fell behind uh, all of the rest of her, her class because she lacked the breadth of vocabulary to access and engage with the curriculum. Unfortunately, this is a growing issue across the country. And like in Asma's situation, this disadvantage is particularly acute when combined with uh, economic deprivation. So in Oxford, we're thinking about areas like um, Blackbird Lees, Cowley, Cowley Road, uh, where there are high volumes of families from low, um, from low economic backgrounds, but who also have English as an additional language. Jakari believes that something as basic as not being able to speak English shouldn't be a barrier to success, uh, academic success. So what do we do? Jakari recruits and trains student volunteers uh, from Oxford University and Oxford Brooks to become home tutors for children like Asma, uh, who are struggling at school because they can't speak English, we don't, don't speak English as a first language, um, and wouldn't be able to afford support um, elsewhere. So each volunteer is matched up with a child, and then they go to the house for one hour every week to get, deliver a fun, free English lesson. Um, and they do this for a minimum of an academic year. So, in 2011, I was lucky enough to be matched up with Asma as a Jakari volunteer. Um, and as her uh, Jakari volunteer, I, I ended up teaching her for two years. Um, and in that time, I got to know her really well. And I got to know her interests and use these to inform uh, the lessons, that, the English lessons that I gave her. So that I, kn I would know that she would find them fun and interesting and engaging. So for example, in the third picture um, with a plate, uh, that was the lesson where we uh, made uh, some jelly in the shape of a, a rabbit, in a rabbit mold. Um, and that was a great um, opportunity to learn about um, uh, sort of uh, the language of uh, kitchens and cooking um, and sort of kitchen utensils that she hadn't come across with, come across um, at school so far. So that was really fun. Um, and I was, it was wonderful to see her confidence in English grow. In 2011, I was just one of 260 volunteers teaching and supporting 300 pupils. And we, uh, Jakari has a, a strong relationship with 14 schools in the area who, um, who continue to refer their pupils to us year after year because they're so um, clear about the uh, be good benefit, the benefits that having a Jakari tutor has on their pupils. And we do all of this with just one paid employee, <coughs> the coordinator, that's me. Um, and so we are extremely efficient. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right. So why are we here this evening? We're here to gain your support um, to, um, in the important work of levelling the educational opportunity in Oxford. But we also want you to know that we're becoming increasingly self-sufficient in our fundraising. Within, the last, um, within a few years, our aim is to become 100% self-sufficient through social enterprise. Last year, a quarter of our um, fundraising uh, came from social enterprise with our partnerships with the Charity Football League and Oxfizz, um, and this is set to grow to 50% next year. 
As our income from social enterprise grows, uh, we'll be, we're going to become less dependent on grants and uh, donations. However, today, we are in desperate need of £15,000 to provide our service, to continue to provide our service next year. So, anything that you can give today will go directly to supporting children like Asimar who feel their academic potential and have the future that they want and deserve.